So I am flying to California on Thursday this week for some meetings and then also the race on Saturday, Lake Sonoma 50. So, but I want to be prepared. Sorry about that. I just re-listened to that clip. I just tried to film for you, but it's a little too windy out. So I'm going to finish in here. Basically, I'm flying to California Thursday. I want to get all my nutrition set today. And I love this brand called Honey Stinger. And it's based here in Colorado. And I'm not, I'm, I'm sure that it would be available in California in their grocery stores, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, so I'm going to buy the Honey Stinger waffles right now in King Supers here. And then also the gummies. And then also maybe some shop blocks from Cliff. I do like their shop blocks just to change it up a little bit. Um, so that is my go-to nutrition during the race. I'm actually going to take at least two baby foods at the start line and possibly three. So I'm going to have, anyway, I'll show you back at the house how I'm going to get it all set up, where the nutrition is going to be at in my front little kangaroo pouch and then also in my handheld in the zipper. Um, but I am not going with gels. I'll probably have a gel. They're going to have goo. So GU is another company, all these companies, sorry. Goo is another company that is sponsoring the race and they're going to have goo along the way. So I'll probably pick up probably one or two toward the end of the race when it's really hurting and I need that quick, quick shot of energy. And I've heard that goo has a new uh, flavor called birthday cake. Hello. So, but overall, I'm not a big goo uh, fan, a, a big gel fan. It just hits the stomach a little funky. I like my baby food. I like my waffles and I like my, my gummies. I think it's a little more uh, palatable if I can use that terminology. All right. King Supers, we're coming for you. Back at the house, boys are in the bath. I've got maybe three minutes before I need to get them out, so I wanna just talk real quickly through how I'm going to fuel myself at the Lake Sonoma 50, all right? So, first of all, I'm gonna use a 18 ounce Nathan handheld right here. 18 ounces, it, it actually holds about 19, almost 20, but uh, it says 18 on the bottle, so basically, you know, right there, you stick your hand in, tighten it down right there, and then the little race nozzle on top, so you just squeeze for drinking, and then it's got a pocket on the side, and in this pocket, I am going to put three, three Honey Stinger waffles in this pocket right there, but I'm gonna open them before uh, the race starts. I'm not gonna have the wrapper, just three Honey Stingers. Now, if you know Honey Stinger waffles, they tend to fall apart a little bit, uh, which, is okay, it's not the end of the world, but I've learned over, you know, two to three years of ultra running that if you have to wrestle the wrapper while you're racing, that's no good. You're wasting mental energy, a little bit of physical energy, and basically you break your stride too much trying to open these wrappers. So, tip of the day is to open this before the race starts, stick it in there, so you can just unzip, boom, and grab and eat. Boom, just like that. So, I'm gonna have three honey stingers, and one baby food, one baby food. For the entire race, uh, I'm gonna eat one, two, I'm gonna eat three baby foods, all right? So one at the 10 mile, 20 mile, and 30 mile mark, all right? So three baby foods. So one of the baby foods is gonna go in here, and the other baby, two baby foods, I'm also going to use this spy belt, um, it's a teeny tiny little belt. It's not for liquid, it's for food. Remember I talked about how I don't, I don't like belts and liquid, it's too heavy on your waist. But for food, it's okay. So, um, I might have to stand up for this, but basically it unzips here and then it becomes this pouch like that. The shop blocks from Cliff Bar and then these energy chews from Honey Stinger right there, right there. And they're gonna go inside, but 
I'm going to open these ahead of time so that it's easy access inside this pouch. So I don't have to wrestle during the race opening up these packages. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense out there, people? So there's about 10 chews per, there's about 10 chews per package. I think there's eight in the shop blocks and I think there's 10 in here. I want 50, about one a mile, <laughs> even though I'll eat them in more, you know, consistently, probably one, probably like five every five miles, um, approximately. But they're gonna go in here and this is gonna clip around my waist, I'll show you in a second. And then in, in addition, this belt right there is going to hold these, um, is gonna hold these baby foods on my waist. So as I was explaining earlier, I'm not a huge fan of gels. I think they're fine for like short spurts of energy, but for the long 50 mile race, I just, I don't know, I just don't like the gels. Um, I can do them if I need to, if it's a clutch, you know, if you're just bonking, I can do a gel, force it down. But I would prefer something that hits the stomach a lot better, like a baby food, uh, which I'm gonna carry three of in the race, a waffle, which I'm gonna carry three of in the race, or, about 50 gummies, which I'm gonna chew just throughout the whole thing. I don't remember, different ultra runners have said this, but basically, ultra running is, is first an eating contest, and then it's a running contest. So you gotta just keep eating the entire time. It's first an eating contest, and then a running contest, because whoever eats and fuels the best, and is in the best shape, and has a decent amount of talent, is probably gonna win. Fair, fair. Oh yeah, and in here, I'm gonna have probably like Tailwind, or uh, maybe just, anyway, probably Tailwind, maybe even just Gatorade. I like both um, in the in the bottle here. Okay, it's Sunday. Uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna film. All I know is I appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm.